When you're shopping for a MIG welder, there's a few things you have to consider. You gotta consider the projects at hand, what kind of material thickness you're gonna be doing, what materials you wanna weld. You gotta consider the dependability and durability of the machine. You're looking for the greatest features, innovation, technology that's out there, and then you're also looking for a company you can trust that has an excellent warranty and service that you can stand behind. Well, today, we're talking about one of the greatest that checks out just about all those boxes, the Eastwood MIG 180. This is a new and improved version of our Eastwood MIG 175. We've had the MIG 175 since 2009. We've taken a lot of your customer feedback, a lot of upgrades and technology that's now out there and available, put it into the MIG 180. If you're shopping for a 240 volt MIG welder, you're doing some serious projects. The MIG 180, just like the MIG 175, it's rated a 5 16 steel and stainless. Again, the MIG-180, just like the MIG-175, it's also spool gun capable. Now one thing we're doing that's new, a little bit different, we're offering this machine with and without a spool gun. If you know you're not planning on welding aluminum, you can buy this welder without it, save yourself a little bit of money, or if you know you want to get into aluminum, if you buy the combo package, you're actually getting a discount. You're getting the spool gun about half price. Now the biggest difference between these two machines is the technology. The MIG-175, it has transformer technology. This has been around for a long time, it's dependable, gets the job done. Now the new MIG-180, we have IGBT inverter technology. This is the latest and greatest out there. It gives you the smoothest, cleanest arc possible, as well as a bunch of other features. Number one, it's dual voltage now. This means if you only have 120 in your garage, you don't have to bring out an electrician to install a welder circuit right in your garage. You can use it on 120, or if you already have 240, you can get the max output right away. Additionally, with the inverter technology, you can run off a generator. It can take that dirty generator input voltage and turn it into a great, clean welder output voltage. You don't have to worry about it spitting and sputtering or inconsistent wire speed. Finally, it's about a third the weight of the MIG-175. This makes it a lot more portable for taking it out on the job site and getting that job done. The torches that come with these machines, they haven't changed. You're still getting the same heavy-duty, Tweco-style consumable MIG torch that's going to last you years, and we have parts for. And not only do we have parts for these, so does your local welding supply or your hardware store. The Tweco-style consumables, super easy to find, industry standard stuff. In addition to the torches, we're still giving you the same heavy-duty ground clamp with the copper strap. That copper strap ensures you get a good ground and has more ground contact area to make sure your weld is as clean and consistent as possible. Now one thing that's different between these two machines is how the grounds are connected. On the MIG-175, all of your polarity changes were done inside the machine. You actually had to undo some knobs, flip everything around when you wanted to switch between MIG welding or flux core welding. On the MIG-180, it uses a standard DINs type connection and it's really easy to swap out right up front. It makes it even quicker to go back and forth to get your job done. Both these machines have infinitely variable wire speed and voltage settings. The MIG-175, we were one of the first ones out there to have this at a value price. Typically, when you look at a lot of other MIG welders out there, you only have two, three, maybe four heat settings, and then you had to dial in the voltage and deal with what you got. With the MIG-175, you're really able to dial in the weld and get just the heat and voltage setting you're looking for to really make it look perfect for the material and project you're working on. The MIG-180, we kept all that exactly the same. One thing that's unique about the MIG-180 is the 2T, 4T, and TAC mode. 2T, it's like standard MIG welding. You pull the trigger, you weld, you release the trigger, the weld stops. Now 4T, think of it like cruise control. To start it, you pull the trigger, you begin your weld, and now you can release the trigger and continue your weld. Again, really handy when you're doing a long weld. Say your hand's gonna get hot, you wanna move back on the torch a little, you can do that. Or you're in a tight spot and you can't hold the trigger the whole time. When you wanna finish up your weld, you can now pull the trigger and then release, your weld's done. The 4T stands for the four touches you're gonna make on the MIG torch while you're welding. Now finally, something unique that Eastwood has, most of your competitors, you're not gonna find it, is tack mode. Tack mode lets you do a fixed, consistent timed spot or tack weld on your project. This is really helpful when you're doing patch panels or tack welds. Say you're trying to tack a roll cage together, get it all set up. Now you can dial in your voltage and speed so you have a really nice flat tack weld. And then you can do that same exact flat tack weld everywhere you need to do on your project. Okay. As always, with any Eastwood welder, you're getting a three-year warranty and a tech team that's going to get all of your questions answered or issues taken care of. We've had the MIG-175 for over a decade now. Thousands of people have been happy and gotten their projects done. The MIG-180 is going to be no different. This is just a continuation of the same excellent welders Eastwood's been able to offer. 
For more information about the MiG-180, visit eastwood.com.